I'm uh, first of all, I've, I don't know Shikneel, but I assume you're a nurse because your question was, I had low back pain five months ago after I lifted a patient during my shift, and then I got a mild dull pain in the lower back for which I didn't take any medication. It was bearable, but it was consistent. And then a month ago, I took some NSAIDs and some muscle relaxants, and it went, it relieved the pain. Then one day, I got a shooting pain in my left leg behind the knee. I went straight for an MRI. Well, time out. This is a really classic history, and I think it might be of interest to a lot of people what was going on here. Remember, when a disc herniates, the first thing that happens is the annulus tears, and then once the annulus tears, the nucleus herniates out. You get that ache in the back, that first Chagnil felt that knife in the back pain for the first month or so. That was the tear in the annulus. That's what happened in the lifting at work. And then some random day, a little nucleus pushes out and it causes inflammation of the nerve root. And that nerve root inflammation is what goes on to cause the sciatica that Shikneel is feeling today. The MRI showed herniation of the L5 S1 disc and pain in the hamstring area, which is where Shikneel is having it today, is characteristic of S1 radicular nerve root pain. <clears throat> well, as happens 95% of the time, everything went well. The pain got mostly better, but Shikneel is still having pain in that hamstring area when standing for more than 30 or 40 minutes. And the question for me today is, what is that? What's going on? This is residual pain in the S1 nerve root. It's very likely to get better if you give it a little more time. Continued anti-inflammatories will help. If you get sick of it and you want some temporary relief, a transforaminal epidural injection at L5 S1 will also likely provide some relief. I haven't seen your MRI, but based on the history, it's unlikely that you need microdiscectomy surgery. What you mostly are going to need is a little more time. I'm just, it's easy for me to say to be patient, but try to be a little more patient and take it easy. Continue to be active, but don't do anything to cause more herniation. It does take time for the body to reabsorb and heal up the disc and heal that tear in the annulus, but it will happen eventually. And one day, if you continue on, you should be good as new.